What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, friends and fellow artists, welcome back to another full length oil painting talk through video. Last week we painted this. If you didn't get a chance to see that one, the, I'll put an annotation, clickable link here somewhere in the video. If you want to go by and uh, paint along with this video here, uh, feel free to do that. Today we're going to do a larger painting on a, on a bigger canvas just for some fun, change it up a little bit for you guys. So let's get on over here. I won't get started. I'm going to run through the colors I have on the palette. I may use them, I may not use them. I just have them up here just in case I do decide to use them so I don't have to cut over and uh, get, get some more paint on the palette. Obviously, we have titanium white right here. We got Prussian blue. We got a burnt sienna, a sap green, Van Dyke brown, uh, a black, an ivory black, and a lizard and crimson right here. And then we got a cadmium yellow, an Indian yellow, and yellow ochre just in case. Um, a lot of times I don't end up using this, but it is nice to be able to mix with different colors and tone things down a little bit. Let's go into some Prussian blue. Just tap the bristles. Get that paint evenly distributed throughout the brush. Okay, and then we'll come up here to the top. And as always, using our little X strokes. We'll go ahead and drop in some color here, just along the top. Now start your color off a little bit lighter than what you would normally do. Not so much paint on the brush, because when we work down the canvas here, we start getting lighter. We can always go back and add more to the top to darken it up a little bit. Um, it's very difficult to uh, go back in and lighten up the dark areas. Now I'm going to grab a clean, a clean dry two inch brush and just kind of blend these, blend these together and get rid of those brush strokes that we created. Soften it up, blend it together a little bit better. I like to blend in the light area and work up towards the dark so that once you get to the top you can be finished up and you don't have to worry about blending too much of that dark back down into your, to your light areas. Next we're going to pull the one inch brush through some titanium white and we're going to come up here and we're going to think about where we might have some clouds today. I'm thinking we might have a couple of big ones floating around here. Four real big clouds. And we're just basically putting in just a little a couple places where clouds might be floating around today. Now with a clean dry two inch brush, we could come right up here and just use little circles little circles and blend out the bottom of these clouds. Just going to blend the bottoms, leave a lot of the white on the top showing through. We're just spinning the brush around in a circle. And then we'll go up here. clouds as well. Alright, and then once you've done that, you can go towards the bottom of these clouds and just at an angle lift, lift up. And then an opposite angle this direction for these clouds. I'm just going to lift up a little bit, fluff them. And then gently we'll blend across just to remove the brush strokes. Kind of set those clouds back into the distance there. There we go. Next with the filbert brush and a little bit of titanium white, a lizard and crimson, and a touch of Prussian blue. I mix up a light purplish gray color. And I think today we're going to have maybe 
three, two or three mountain ranges kind of cutting each other off, pushing some, some depth into the painting. And this very back one, we want it to be extremely far away, so I think we'll just come right in here like this. And decide how this mountain's going to be shaped. And you can just kind of block your color in. Not too much paint. Next we'll grab a little bit of titanium white on that filbert brush and come along this mountain just kind of rub in a couple of spots where highlights might be the sun might be hitting this mountain we don't want it to be too detailed we just want to add a little bit to it this is a very far away mountain Still want a little bit of highlight coming off of it. Just rub with the filbert brush. After you've added in those highlights to that mountain, you can decide where you want your next mountain to come down. I think. I think this one's going to come down like this, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to cut this one off a little bit. It's not going to be extremely, extremely big, but we do want it to be a little bit different uh, shape-wise, maybe, maybe it comes down like this off into the distance like this Maybe there's two different little peaks going here and you can you really use the fil filbert brush really nice to uh, add in uh, where you want your you can sketch in your little map of how you want your mountain to be uh, angle wise and it's a lot of fun and then um, I'm just gonna do the same thing we're just gonna you know, fill this color in. Next with some titanium white on the knife. You can come in here and just decide where you want your highlights to be on this mountain. This mountain's still kind of far away. But we do want to add a little bit of detail to it. Just not too much. So you just scrub in where you think some highlights would be. Some of the bigger areas we can use the other edge of the knife and just barely touch the canvas and pull down. Save you some time. Still get a nice effect. Just like that. Next we'll mix up a little bit of sap green, burnt sienna, touch of blue, and some white. Get yourself a nice pale, pale green color on the fan brush. And we're going to come drop in a couple little foothills out here in the distance, right in front of these mountains. And start them like this. Maybe they come down. Drop in a, a basic little shape where you want them. Now I want this one, this little hill here. I have another one that comes down in front of this one. So just scrub some of this color in here. I have a little little foothill that comes down. Maybe this one has a little drop off.
I'm just gonna block in a little bit of color here with the fan brush. Then I'm gonna go into the filbert brush. And I'm gonna grab some Prussian blue, a little bit of that green that we just used for that mount or for the foothills. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it. And right back through here. We have a little, we have some water coming down through here. So I just want to get some color in here. Now all I did was I went into a little bit of that blue and green color on the two inch brush. And I just want to, I just want to pull across the bottom here flat flat color. I'm going to have some water at the very bottom of this painting. So I'm just going to pull it across. Just like that. Next I'm going to mix up some just dark color. It's going to be um, some black and blue and a little bit of brown. And we'll come in right here and we're just going to push in a little foreground dark color. We want a little bit of that color here as well. Right here in this little hill here. Tapping in some dark color, that's all we're doing. Work back and forth, bend your bristles upwards. And add more pressure as you get to the bottom. And it'll create a nice little tree shape. And like I said, I, I want to have a couple of them here. So, I'm going to add in a couple more. Make some thick, some thin. They don't all have to be exactly the same. We can come right down here with a little light green and just tap. Tap a little bit of highlight onto this grass down to, towards the waterline. Just a little bit. You pick up too much of that black, just clean your brush off, tap right back into that color. And just come on up through here, lightly tapping. If your paint doesn't come off, add yourself some thinner onto it. And just add in a couple of little highlights. And I think I'm going to come back over this again with a little bit more yellow because the sun is coming down this way so it's going to hit more of this grass over here than it will on the grass on the other side. Then next with the fan brush and that same highlight color remember the sun's coming in here so we're just going to add in the smallest bit of highlight just a little bit right out on the sides of these trees. Not too much, we just want a little. Add a little bit to this guy. Just to show that some of these trees are catching some of that sunlight. Just a little bit. Work your way down the tree. Right on the edge of the branches. 
Now with our one inch brush, we can come down to these the bottoms of these rocks and we can just grab the color that's already there and just pull it straight down. Straight down. Then clean the brush off and just pull lightly across. Lightly across. Just gonna create some nice reflections down here in the water. It's nice and soft. Then we'll grab our knife, cut across through some titanium white, cut straight across, and come right down here and just scrub. Scrub with the knife. A nice little water line. So you can tell the difference in where the water starts and where the rocks where the where the rocks start and where the water starts. You can tell the difference there. Same thing here. Just gonna cut across a little titanium white. Just a little bit. Next I'm going to tap into some titanium white with the filbert brush and down along through here I just want to add just the indication of a little bit of highlights sparkling off of these rocks. And don't forget where your uh, where your light's coming from so these areas that are protruding outwards they'll catch some of that sun on the way down. We're just adding in just a little bit, not much, just a little here and there on some of these spots that are look like they just reach out and catch the light. Maybe here. All right, and with that, I think that we're uh, done. I think we have a completed painting. It was a lot of fun for me to do this. I hope you guys enjoyed it, the ones that painted along with me. Please, if you do any of these videos and you paint along with me and you make a nice picture, please send it to my Facebook. I would love to see it. Uh, link will be in the description box below. Uh, you can add me on Twitter or follow me on Twitter. You can add me on Facebook. I accept everybody. But all in all, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the support, for liking, for sharing the videos. Uh, I'm having a blast doing these paint along videos with you guys. Hope you're learning something as much as I'm learning something. So, um, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace, man, out.